Grandpa is feeling a little frisky today. Anheuser-Busch this week became the latest company to face backlash from conservatives like singer Kid Rock, who posted a video of himself shooting a rifle at packs of beer. It comes after Bud Light Beer's sponsorship of transgender activist and TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney. I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month. Mulvaney posted a video of herself with several cans of Bud Light on Instagram last weekend to promote a contest tied to the March Madness College basketball tournament, showing a special beer can commemorating her 365 Days of Girlhood TikTok series. And Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. While some conservatives have called for a boycott of the beer on social media, bar patrons Reuters spoke with in Phoenix, Arizona, were split. I think we do allow people to have um, like diversity and inclusion, and, and I love that companies reach out to different influencers who have that big of a platform that does celebrate those unique and um, those unique traits that people have. I will definitely be boycotting them um, just for the family because um, I don't believe in shoving anything into anybody's face. Georgia College marketing professor Dr. Joanna Schwartz doesn't expect the outrage to have a major impact on Bud Light sales. I mean, they've had rainbows on their beer cans, I mean, for years and actually have been supporting the LGBT community for decades. She said the attention may even create the opposite effect. Primarily, this was going to be a, a TikTok ad. And one of the things that happened when the conservative backlash against it happened was that it jumped platforms. So now you're not just seeing it on TikTok and Facebook and Insta. You're seeing, you know, memes that are taking off around that, um, you know, articles and, you know, interviews like this one that are creating um, more buzz and talk about the brand. Um, actually, you can't buy that. In a statement to Fox News, an Anheuser-Busch spokesman said the company works with hundreds of influencers across their brands and occasionally produces commemorative cans like the one gifted to Mulvaney, which is not for sale to the general public. Love ya!